Hello learners, welcome back to Ahmed Coaching and this is your teacher Dr. Anam. Today we are going to study about the mechanism of enzyme action. Enzyme catalysis is a biological process um, in which enzymes are added. Why? Because we need to increase the rate of a biochemical reaction. For example, um, if a chemical reaction is going on and it is taking 5 minutes, if we add enzyme in that particular reaction, that particular enzyme will decrease this 5 minute and then this reaction will speed up and it might uh, be completed in just like one second maybe. So this is enzyme catalysis. What happened that enzymes it act as a catalyst and at the end of the reaction this enzyme it can be used for another reaction it means it is not uh, utilized or consumed during a particular chemical reaction to understand um, the mechanism of enzyme action let's study first enzyme here we have an enzyme which is a globular structure and made up of unique amino acids these amino acids for example we have like this amino acids they are have a long chain these amino acids they will coil on each other and then they will form a particular globular structure here you can see that particular globular structure uh, some specific uh, amino acid composition allow the enzyme to perform specific functions and it means a specific active site here you can see this part here is active site this active site is made up of two parts one is binding site the other one is catalytic site what happens the binding site is responsible for the recognition and binding of a specific substrate while the catalytic site it is involved in the breakdown of that particular substrate about three to four amino acids they are associated with the uh, preparation or the synthesis of active site while the globular structure this globular structure is maintained by the rest of the amino acids so it means that just three to four amino acids they are involved in the catalysis function so here we have a substrate this substrate is going to bind with this enzyme and then it will form enzyme substrate complex which in short is also known as ES complex. What happened that this substrate it will be recognized by the binding side and then binding side will help the binding of substrate with the active, uh, active side of the enzyme and here you can see it is properly binded or fitted into the enzyme. After that, this substrate is converted into the product. It means here it is broken down and we get the product while the enzyme is present as such without any change in its structure and it can be used again for this reaction. Um, there are different models that are used to express or to uh, describe the enzyme action. First model is known as Lock and Key model. It was first uh, proposed in 1894 by Emil Fisher. And uh, he said that specific substrates are present for specific enzymes, just like one lock, it can be opened by one particular key. Similarly, one specific enzyme can break down a specific substrate. Um, in this um, model, the enzyme is a lock and substrate is a key. It means here, this part here is enzyme, while this part here is a substrate. According to this model, the enzyme is a rigid structure and it has a particular uh, active site to which the substrate is going to bind and it is going to be broken down. Uh, the other model which is used to explain the enzyme action is known as induced feed model. This model it was uh, proposed in 1959 by Koshland. 
This model suggests that substrate induces conformational changes in the active side. It means that, for example, active side is like this in an enzyme. If a substrate needs to bind to the active side, this active side, it may change its shape and then help the substrate in its binding and then this enzyme is binded so according to this model the enzyme is very flexible so that was all about the mechanism of enzyme action if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section like my video and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for the next video